So I think the one is going to rotate around the sun for about 10,000 years. So, if, you know, if, if at some point I disappear, you know, the aliens came and picked me up and they seen my name off of there. So, you know, it's, it's kind of cool. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to MTD CNC. If you've tuned into this one, you're in for a real treat, my friends. I'm with my buddy James, Arizona State University. You guys know how much I love talking about education. Except on top of education, these guys make some incredible stuff. Going into space, eco-friendly, working on the green. I mean, I'm not going to steal his thunder. Sometimes I accidentally do that, but I'm going to let James talk to you guys about what they're making at Arizona State University. Your mind just might be blown like mine. James, Let's talk about what you're making because it is fascinating to me. It's definitely fascinating. So we're a, a prototype shop at ASU, and we do a lot of work for the School of Earth and Space. Uh, they sent a, a, a mission up to the asteroid Bennu. They're going to take a sample off that asteroid and bring it back. Uh, we did a, a, a mission called Lucy recently. They're going to study some asteroids as well. So what we do when we do these missions, uh, the 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 director sends us a little plate that we sign, and this plate goes on the on the spacecraft itself. So all our names from the shop, and along with a lot of other people, are on on this plaque. So I think the one is going to rotate around the sun for about ten thousand years. So if, you know, if, if at some point I disappear, you know, the aliens came and picked me up, and they seen my name off of there. So you know, it's it's kind of cool. So we've done a lot of other stuff for the School of Earth and Space, and not just not just space work. We do. Uh, biofuels. We do. Uh, we're doing some cells that will desalinate water, because um, you know water is a, a, a precious resource here in Arizona, right? So uh, we do a lot of other a lot of other stuff. And not just big projects. We do small projects. You know, we just help all the researchers on campus, because that's what our shop's there for. You know, we're uh, basically a prototype shop. These guys come in. They'll bring us maybe a, a print on a napkin, right? They may have a 3D model from SolidWorks. They may not. We may have to design things for them. You know, we just never know what we're going to get in our shop. So it's really cool. Well, James, I'm catching kind of an inspiration vibe here. I mean, maybe you have your signature there by the sun orbiting there. You've gone into an asteroid belt. You're helping, uh, you know, some of the, the clean water that we need. Because you're right, we're standing in Arizona at a Methods Machine Tool building right now. Do you feel inspired every day? I mean, whether it's a napkin or a 3D print that you're receiving, <laughs> do you love what you're doing, the creativity and what you're able to produce? That is the cool thing about our shop. It is very creative. We don't get the same projects in all the time, so we're not making a thousand widgets of the same thing every day. And that goes for my team. You know, we, I have a great, great group of guys at the shop. So, and they're all they're all great designers, of great machinists. So, and I. I can give them guys a project. They will work with the researcher. If they have to design something for them, they do. You know, they can go back and forth. Well, this didn't work right. And that's a good thing about having a shop on campus because if they had to go off campus, of course, we don't charge very much for our services on campus. But if these researchers had to go off campus, they'd be paying a lot. And if a lot of times, you know, they need to make a change. We'll have to stop right in the middle of the project. Oh, I need to do this or that. And you know, some guys get kind of PO'd when you do that to a shop, right? Well, we can't, we're right in the middle of this. We, we're not gonna, you know, or they charge you an arm and a leg, right? So, and that's the good thing that, that those guys can come in, make changes, and we can accommodate that. At Arizona State University, they've really invested in these projects as well. You feel super supported with the amount of financial investment and projects that are coming into the university. Don't you feel that way? Absolutely. And the, uh, the expenditures for research have gone up immensely in the last, say, 15 years. I don't know if anybody knows, but ASU is probably one of the highest as far as research facilities and, and universities in, in the nation. So. I mean, that's incredible to me. For everyone who's watching out there, we would love to see more universities get involved like ASU, like James is talking about. I'm sure you can feel the inspiration that he's providing here today. He's so good at this, he's probably going to take my job, to be honest. But before we get into that, we're also standing in front of an EDM machine, and we're standing in a Methods building. So it would be remiss for me not to bring up that you do have a few EDM machines, and that Methods supports you on some of your projects, these crazy things that you're doing out in space and in the ocean, right? That is very true. We had a project that we had to run on the EDM that had certain angles that we couldn't quite get. Um, one of the guys here at Methods helped us with the program and we got that hooked up for, for the researchers that we were doing that for. He was so happy with what, what happened there and Methods is a great support, definitely. Well, Christopher, I believe, is your guy that works with you, but the service team, 
Uh, I imagine that they come and help you whenever you need. I mean, it's right around the corner, so that friendship has got to be there to go along with it, right? That is very true. We were having a little issue with one of our EDMs, and I called Tony, and he sent somebody out. They were out there this morning, and I just called him yesterday about uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So that's service. <laughs> and probably with a smile, even though I wasn't there, but Tony smiles a lot, so probably with a smile as well. Yes, that is service, and that's kind of what methods bring you. So. I wish you all the support moving forward. I hope more schools out there are watching this as well because we need more of this going on in the world of manufacturing. James, are there any closing, closing statements you'd like to say to anyone out there in the manufacturing world since you are at a university right now, funded by the university, a machine shop for the university? There's probably something, a message that you'd like to share with the audience, right? I would like to say, go devils. <laughs> And we did not plan that at all, but I hope they're having a good season as well. Thank you all for watching. This is my buddy James. What incredible products they're making. We'll see you all again soon.